In Sumer, part of the ancient land of Mesopotamia, there was a famous city-state called Nippur. One day, a teacher in Nippur asked his students to start a journal about their lives and their country. This is the story of one student, Nisaba, and her journal. Okay, here we go. Nisaba's journal, entry one. Teacher wants us to write about our lives. What is my life like here in Sumer? I think I'll tell the story of my people from the very beginning. My grandfather knows all about it. He says the first thing we Sumerians did was get really good at farming. My ancestors used to make their living by hunting wild animals for food. They were constantly on the move following the herds. As they traveled, they would also gather wild berries, nuts, and greens to eat. But they often didn't know where their next meal would come from. It was a hard way to live. Then they discovered they could plant and harvest a kind of wheat they found growing wild. And they also found out how to tame wild goats and sheep and raise them for food. Grandfather calls that domestication. It meant they didn't have to hunt for food anymore. They could grow it themselves. And so my ancestors stopped wandering and stayed here. They discovered that food grows better here than almost anywhere else. That's because we're in a river valley. Right between two rivers, in fact. Mesopotamia actually means land between the rivers. One river is the Tigris, and the other is the Euphrates. My grandfather says it's easy to grow food in our valley because the soil here is so fertile. And he says that is because of the mountains up north. It snows a lot up there in the winter. When the snow melts, all that water runs down into the valley and into the rivers. Then the rivers rise over their banks and flood the valley. And they dump a lot of really good dirt on the land. It's great for growing food in. So now we eat really well. We grow barley and wheat, lots of beans and fresh vegetables, and fruits like melons, dates, apples, figs, and grapes. Our animals give us milk, cheese, and meat, and there are always plenty of fish in the rivers. When my ancestors first started farming here, their biggest problem was never knowing when a flood might come and wash away their crops. Even if the crops survived that, they might die in the summer when it's so hot and there's not enough water 